Okay, should we get started? Yes. Yeah. I think we'll give maybe a few more minutes for people to put their names into the Google Doc if you're playing along or just play along at home. But if you're competitive, put your names into the Google Doc and see if you can beat our uninformed handball hour specialists and our guest, Charlotte Svelle Larson. Very good. <laughs> How are you doing? Are you ready for this? <laughs> are, are you are you good at quizzes generally? Because no, I'm not. I'm terrible. That's the yeah. thing. I'm awful as well. So okay, that's good. Yeah. Let's. If you, if you lose to me, you're pretty bad. Like. Yeah. <laughs> 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 I, I can't. I can't. I'd never trust my own judgment. That's my problem. Yeah, I was like hoping that you would get like uh, three different answers. Like, okay, I can just pick one of them. But no, no. There are some of those, right, Alex? Yeah, there's, there's a few options. There's a few good guessing. So we'll see if you're lucky as well, as uh, knowledgeable about handball. <laughs> so I will share screen and put last chance. You have to be close to the mic, Alex. <laughs> Closer to the mic. That's good. I'll be blurry, it seems, for the rest of the evening. <laughs> I don't know what's to be happened. blurry. I'll be really quiet. This is going to go really well. <laughs> Let me see what I can do with the camera. All right. Ah, yes. So we have our second handball hour quiz of this coronavirus lockdown quarantine. I hope everyone has their beers. Yo! Absolutely. Or wine. Perfect. Cheers. Skull. 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 It's launcher. So this time around, we're going to have four rounds, and all of them will be based around handball and general quote, uh, general sports. So starting off with a normal run-of-the-mill handball general knowledge round. Then we're going to go into a bit of a special round for this one, which is Guess the Handball Club from the pictures, and I'll give you more details on that. Then we have a sports quotes round. Who said that? Don't quote me on this. And finally, our special uh, picture round, which is the $6 million handball player. So if everyone's in, we're going to kick off with the first round. Absolutely, let's go. Everyone got their pen and paper? Ready to go. And I can see the first question already. Oh. <laughs> that's that's good because I, I am sharing the wrong screen. <laughs> <laughs> good start. Okay. okay. I should have paid attention to what the first question was. Chris is already cheating. Unbelievable. <laughs> <laughs> no, Chris, easy. your blurry screen is so bizarre. <laughs> it's the bloody camera. <laughs> <laughs> just can't focus on you. It can't, it can't focus on me. It's, 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 AD, it's ADHD camera. Uh, no, ADHD. <laughs> oh, Brian, Jesus Christ. <laughs> uh, start. Okay, here we go. Okay, there we are. Got the right one up there. Hold on. Let's see if this works. Okay, question number one. Starting off nice and easy. Who won the 2019 Women's World Championship in Japan? Question number two. In the ha history of the Spanish Men's Handball League, since 1958 when it became an indoor sport, who has won more championships? Barcelona or all of the other clubs combined? <laughs> oh my god um, oh. I think it's uh, is it an 11 year winning streak for Barcelona at the moment crikey so question number three who was the first ever guest on the uninformed handball hour <laughs> podcast <laughs> <laughs> It's a good thing we have super <laughs> far, a super fan Charlotte on. <laughs> I'm sure you oh, listen to all of them. Uh, <laughs> no pressure, no pressure. 
if you get that one wrong, we're going to cut your feed. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Question number three. How tall in centimeters is oh, Danny's Christopans? The tallest player in Humble. The tallest good player, at least. Tallest good player. I mean, you never know. <laughs> you never know who's out there. And a real uninformed handball hour favorite. What? What? Since. Are, what? Wait a second. Are we on four already? We're on four already, yeah. What? We have three here. What happened? So we got a uh, world championship. Yeah. Uh, we have who won more leagues? Yeah. Rest long or rest? Who was the first ever guest? Oh, yeah, on of course, I didn't answer there. That's the reason. Yeah. yeah. Down. <laughs> I'll leave it blank. Sorry, guys. <laughs> put, put a guest. Uh, put a guess on the guest. Yeah. I need to think a little bit about that. <laughs> so, who is this player? I have played for Atletico Madrid, Montpellier, Ciudad Real, PSG, and Dijon in my career. Who am I? Dijon. Oh. Um. Hmm. I'll give a few seconds for this one. There's a real Rasmus Boysen question there. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Where is Ras Rasmus? Will you send me a text message? <laughs> For you answer that one. <laughs> There's no call a friend in this. <laughs> okay, question number six. And this is another one of these false clue questions. So I'm, I gave four facts. One of these facts is not correct. Three are right. And you have to guess which club am I talking about? So fact number one is Andrea Lekic, Camilla Herem, and Ivanka Radicevic have played for this team. Fact number two, the club no longer exists. Club number three, this club has won a, an EHFCL title. And fact number four, Kim Rasmussen has been the coach of this club. This is a, a trick question. Yeah. I can feel it, Alex. You were too you were too confident with that delivery. <laughs> well, that is yes, that's tough. It's a trick. It's a, it's a trick question in its essence because it has a, <laughs> it has a trick in the question. <laughs> can we have another like another few seconds on this? To read yeah, few yeah. Re re to read it out there. Game. Read it out there again, uh, Alex. So you have to guess the club. Four facts. One of these is incorrect. Three of them are correct about the club that I'm talking about. So, Andrea Lekic, Camilla Herem, Ivan Garadicevic have played for this club. The club no longer exists. This club has won an EHFCL title. And Kim Rasmussen has been the coach of this club. Oh, this is painful. <laughs> I feel like that first clue is, is way too out, hanging out there. Like that might be the false one. I don't know why. It's Lots like of detail on that one, right? Too, too many, too many details. I think you know. <laughs> <laughs> it's almost like all of these players have played for a lot of clubs, and it makes it difficult. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah, because I'm like in between two. Bloody hell. Hmm. Mm. I'm just going to write down both and then go with my guts later on. <laughs> <laughs> not, not later on when I give the answer, I hope. <laughs> <laughs> what, 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 the answer first, then I'm like, okay, this one. <laughs> okay, moving on to question number seven. What is the top men's domestic league? according to the EHF league ranking for the 2020-21 season. So what is the top 
domestic handball men's league? It's not Ireland, anyway. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm not Ireland. <laughs> <laughs> we don't get points for saying who's not. No, you're, you're not wrong. You're not wrong. <laughs> I'll take a list. <laughs> okay, question number eight. What is the all-time attendance record for a handball game? Oh, how close do we have to be here? Uh, let's say within rounding. And I'll, I'll decide, uh, I, won't, I won't give you what I will round to, but I will allow some rounding when I give the answer. Hmm. Okay. And half so what, points are available for this question as well. I think this is, this could be a tricky one as well. I think you're 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 messing with us a little bit here, Alex. That's definitely a trick question. Yeah. And I still don't know the answer. <laughs> 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 okay. Question number nine. What year did Hamble first appear in the Olympic Games? Mm. Hmm. Brian, you made that handball history video. Right? I know, yeah, that's what I'm thinking. I really, I really should know this. <laughs> there were a lot of there were a lot of dates in that video, though. Do you know, because uh, oh, it was it was gone and it came back, didn't it? Is that right? Here as well. What was that? Do we get points if we're close here? <laughs> nah. Yeah. <laughs> uh, you're limited to Olympic years, so that's that's a good that's a good start. <laughs> okay. Nineteen something. <laughs> okay. And the last question of this round, question number ten. Who has more EHF Champions League goals? Kirill Lazarov or Aaron Palmerson and Mikkel Hansen combined? Oh, mm. uh, mm. Changing my mind here. Uh, All time record goal scorer Kirill Lazarov in the Champions I'm, League. I'm already thinking about your mind game, so yes, I'm, based, <laughs> I'm, based, I'm basing this answer off the other uh, two possibility answer because I think you might be throwing some curveballs at us here, Alex. <laughs> Plenty of curveballs. All right. I think that's everything. I'd be happy with six here, I'd say. That's all. So. Let's see. Everyone ready to go through the, the answers? Yes. I'm going to go through the questions again and give you answers. So, who won the championship? Netherlands. Netherlands. Yeah. Chris was there. I hope you got that one right. I did. <laughs> so, who has won? What's our memory? Good. <laughs> who has won more men's handball uh, <clears throat> Spanish leagues, Barcelona, or all the other teams? And it's all the other teams. Yes. Oh, so Barcelona have Most won. Are right. <laughs> uh, they've won twenty-seven, and all the other teams combined have won thirty-five. Oh. I changed my mind. I shouldn't have changed my mind. Oh, oh my god, that was silly. I'm not living here rent-free, Brian. Yeah, <laughs> clearly I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> First guest on Uninformed Handball Hour. And I actually got that wrong and had to look it up. <laughs> because I wasn't part of the Handball Hour yet. So. Uh, Rasmus. Rasmus Boyson. Yeah. yeah. Of course. I thought Tom was the first guest. Tom I was, was pretty uh, un unhappy with not being the first guest. <laughs> the second one. He'll never <laughs> live down. <laughs> it all is Dennis Quince Pants and it's 215. 215. Yes. Yes, that's the only height I know in handball, actually. 
<laughs> That's pretty good going. Or seven foot, or is he seven foot one for our American listeners? <laughs> uh, sorry, JD, I don't know. <laughs> I'd say seven foot one. I think it's seven foot one. Yeah. yeah. This player is anyone, any of guess? I guess Karabue, but I don't know. I guess they're not. I don't know. Didier Dinar is this player. Wow. Ah. Wow. Okay, I didn't get it correct, but wow. <laughs> he had one year in PSG in 2012 and 13, which was his final year. Nice. Dijon one, that got me, because I thought, like, because you put it at the end, I was like, ah, oh, it's like a last stop at the end of your career, but it was the beginning of his career. Yeah, I guess it was the beginning, and then I was, like, putting the other ones together, and I was like, oh. oh that was sneaky. Smart. That was sneaky now. Smart. 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 So did anyone get this club? Uh, I'm going to ask you, Charlotte, to give your answer first. Yeah, I, I, I go with the Vardar in the end. Did Guys? I well, I, my answer, if it's right, then there's a mistake with the question. <laughs> <laughs> but I've gone for CSM Bucharesti. I did too, yeah. It, it's Vardar. Ah. And I know, I know what you're gonna say, Chris. I know what you're gonna say. Oh yeah, come Kim Rasmus in the coach. <laughs> because my other one was uh, by Amaru, which I don't was, think. Kim Rasmussen was the coach of Vardar, uh, one of the first coaches of the kind of new Vardar team. Okay. Oh, so okay, well, that's, that's when I said the club no longer exists. I was like, well, Vardar still exists, so that can't be true. <laughs> Do you know that Vardar women. Okay, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Women doesn't... Tricky, tricky uh, bastard, Alex. <laughs> yeah, that was tricky, now. <sighs> France? Uh, top league, France. Yeah. Oh, no good for me. I went for Germany. Okay, Struggling what is now. the all-time attendance record? So, I will round up or down to the nearest thousand. Oh, so you get... Oh, that's... So, you can't, so if you're like... If you say... Like I did, for example, forty thousand. I, I, if it's not, if it's not forty thousand, if it's not like forty-one, I, I don't get any points. You That's could tough. get a half point depending on how the other. <laughs> okay. Talking, are, we, are we talking indoor or outdoor, Alex? See, that's what I was thinking. I thought this might be an outdoor handball thing because there was some final years ago had crazy oh. numbers outdoor field handball. This was indoor. The the official attendance record for. Handball 53,000? 40, 40, 44? Far away, and then we 32. That was the old record. 32 was the old record for the 2011 uh, Danish Cup final. And with, we this up in 2011 then? <laughs> and the new record was set in 2014 when Hamburg played Reinecke Leuven in the Commerzbank Arena in Frankfurt. And the attendance was 44,189. So what if I said 40? I will. So if you're within 5,000, half a point. 5,000, it's a half point. Okay. If you're within 500, it's a full point. Fair. Uh, what year did Humble first appear in the Olympics? We're talking indoor or when it first went outdoor? I guess I think they had like a couple of times outdoor. The first, the very first time that handball was seen in the Olympics was the outdoor version in 1936. Yes. Oh, I went for indoor. <laughs> <laughs> then it went away for a little while. And in 1974, it came back in the form we all know and love. 72, wasn't it? Uh, 72, yeah, 52, 52, is it? No, it's uh, Montreal. 72. 72. 72. Okay. Half point. Half a point for that? <laughs> Did you know a lot of half points, Alex? <laughs> <laughs> you want to be I'm just glad I'm not finishing last in this quiz again. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so who has more Champions League goals? Okay, so the last time it was... Uh, you were like saying that, that uh, all the other clubs have it. So this time, I think it actually be Lazarov. 
Yeah, me too. Okay, Kirill. That's good mind gives. Yes. <laughs> Kirill Lazarov with. Okay, so one, two, three. Okay. 6.5, not too bad. I expect the worst. I have six. Have you a uh, link to the... Uh... Yeah, I'll, pu I'll put it in. Uh, you want the link? I, the link is all, all over social media. <laughs> yeah, no, I was just saying to... You can put it if you want. To Charlotte, if you had it. Oh, what did you get, Charlotte? Six? Six, yeah. Okay, good. It was round one. Okay. You asked me before uh, what I would get in this round, and I said six, so... Not too bad. Not yeah. too bad. Yeah. So, so what have we got here? So Marcio Menino has said he's got 7.5. Now, Marcio, <laughs> you're, not allowed to use, you're not allowed to use Google. This is a pub quiz. <laughs> I mean, he's got some friends right now, but 7.5, fair play. That's very good. Uh, what else have we got here? Uh, five point five there. I think yeah, you're in. Uh, you're in with a good shot of the the championship so far, Brian. Six point five. I was. It was very lucky, in fairness. But uh, <laughs> I'll, I'll take it. I'll take it. You know. So we got uh, Justin Pino with six as well. JD Orr with five. So Don Lodardi four. Yeah, there's lots of fours and fives around here. So Marcio Menino in the lead. There we have it. And to uh, to clarify, JD has put in the comments that uh, Chris Depans is seven foot one in uh, in US stats. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect. Our, our translator, in other words. Yeah. All right, good stuff. All right, so Charlotta, it, it, sorry, Charlotta, do you? Uh, since you stopped playing handball, do you stay in touch with the sport much or are you more like hands off now? Uh, I, I try to, I try to as much as I can, but obviously with work and everything, I don't get time to follow as much as I want, but at least try to follow the teams where I still have friends and family and everything. So, yeah. Yeah. Did you find that tough in the beginning to kind of immediately start watching handball, especially leaving the way you did with an, with an injury? Like? Mm. I guess like the first half year, I was like, no, I really don't feel like watching. But then after the, like with the first, um, I don't know if it was a European or World Championship that year in December, but then you like get back to like, it's Christmas time, you're always watching the girls play. It's like traditional almost in Norway. So <laughs> Yeah, yeah. So then like, okay, I was like, okay, yeah, no, it's good. It's good. No problem. But I guess in the beginning, I was like taking a little bit distant. Yeah. Yeah. So what brought you to Spain in the first place? Because you've been there quite a long time, right? Yeah, I've been here. Well, I think I'm on my been living here for six years, but now I had like one year gap year back in Norway in the middle. Um, well, it was <laughs> it was not handball related actually at first. Okay. Fair enough. And I decided to because in 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 school I was quite shy, so I decided to like okay. Just gonna do something totally different. Uh, I'm going to a place I've never been before. Don't speak language. Just pack my bags and I left. Wow. So, yeah, I was supposed to stay three months. And still here. This so. is incredible. <laughs> is that so cool? Uh, how long did it take for you to get involved with uh, with handball? Then were you did you I play with Granada straight away? Yeah, I talked to team before I came here. So. I started directly training the first week when I got here. So I trained with Casa de Fels, which is like 20 minutes south of Barcelona, which was the team where uh, Hege Burstad, the uh, wife of Victor Thomas, was playing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so yeah, it was good. Connection. Yeah, Norwegian connection. That was good in the beginning because, you know, a lot of the Spanish people are not the best in English. <laughs> <laughs> So in the beginning it was like a little bit confusing and, and they were like, they could say their name, like, hello, my name is, and then stuff there in English. So <laughs> it was good to have an Norwegian one that could help me a little bit out. And have you ever thought about going into coaching or anything like that? Or you think your, your days with stepping onto the court are done? Um, not coach material at all, I think. Why I is that? Know. I don't know. I don't like... 
I don't know. I don't know. No, no, I don't know. Like, I always had my dad as a coach, so I guess, like, in one way, I know perfectly how to do it, and I think I could be okay, but I don't know. I don't feel comfortable coaching, I think. Definitely not girls, at least. It's so much drama. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I, I always felt the same because I'd be training and I'd be like, what are we doing again? And I, you can't be doing yeah. that as the coach. Like, you can't be asking uh, people, what are you doing again when you're the coach? So I never thought I was the <laughs> coach material either. <laughs> yeah. But when you, when you started, started playing in Spain then, did you have in mind that you would get to such a high level? Because playing with Gran Aie in, in the Spanish top division and they've played in, in Europe in recent years as well. Like yeah. that's a, it's a very high level. Is that what you were, were playing at or what you felt you could have achieved in Norway as well? Mm, I'm not sure. I, I'm really not sure. It's like quite different way of playing here. So in Norway, I played more as a central in the center, but here I've been more used like a left back because I'm obviously taller than most of the girls here. <laughs> so, <laughs> So no, so like for me it was like a change of like changing the shape a little bit because I was used to like being in the center and like making like all the decisions and stuff like that and then suddenly here I didn't work really well as that it's so much more technical here so I, <laughs> so I'm more like a shooter like making goals and, and then obviously my shoulder was quite bad so by the years i started to play more in defense only uh, yeah but i don't think i never like as a kid you always dream like like everybody like oh i want to be playing the best level i want to be in the national team but when it got to a point where i got older and never had that as a goal it was more like having fun and being happy playing oh, nice. that's cool i think good stuff should we go on to round two then so alex yeah we will yes uh, I'll share a screen again. So which round is this again? This round is, let me see if it works. Okay, so this is, uh, you have to guess the handball teams from the pictures that I show. Oh, uh, the handball team names are made out of emojis. <laughs> so there, this is an example. Zero points directly. <laughs> <laughs> so this is so not fun. the first question. Not the first question. This is uh, an example. So in this case, it's Bar Cell One A Barcelona. <laughs> I would never get that. <laughs> so there's a few stretches. I'm not gonna lie. A few of them are quite a stretch. I think this is the biggest stretch of them all. So that's why I took it out as an example. Hopefully the other ones are straightforward. So I'm just going to post all four photos um, or emojis. And I'll give you, let's say, five minutes to start and see where you are. Okay. Oh, five. <laughs> <laughs> there so we five. are. Ah. And it's two points for each of these. I guess. Just sound it out. And they're all handball clubs. They're all high level handball clubs. Okay. Uh... <laughs> this is <laughs> mental. Uh -huh. uh, oh, God. I think I've got the first two. This could be, could be my jam. Uh, or maybe not. Uh, I can't hear. Yeah. I feel. I keep feel like asking, like, what's that? A but it obviously can't. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I'm so stressed. So <laughs> one of these is a women's handball team and four are men's handball teams. Okay. Uh, 
I think the fourth one is wet giraffe ear hap. I was thinking, uh, <laughs> I was thinking more rain giraffe ear love. And this one actually, I think I have. Oh, oh no. <laughs> did, we, did we just give you a clue for it now? No. Okay, good. But <laughs> I thought I might have given me, I thought I gave it away and I didn't realize. Uh, oh, I think I have that now. How long did it take you to come up with these, Alex? <laughs> Actually, it, it took me a long while. I'm not going to lie. This, this was a struggle. Because <laughs> uh, I was also, li I limited myself to real emojis within the, you know, within WhatsApp. So not just photos. I'm so lost. Yeah, I'm really struggling here. Hmm. We'll give it two more minutes. If or... someone gets everyone all of these, I'm deeply impressed. <laughs> Uh. <laughs> <laughs> they made perfect sense to me. Perfect. Mm. Probably when you say it, it will so if they get into your brain and just think how Alex thinks now. Oh. That's what Marcio said he did in round one to get seven point five. <laughs> so hmm. How many do you think you have, Chris? At the moment, three. Oh. Gosh, that's good. I have one. I have one as well, I think. I think I, I think I have one, yeah. Oh. <laughs> Problem is you can't sound it out because... Yeah, you can't. You can. <laughs> Just go on mute. Go on mute, on mute and you see me sound like shouting at the screen. Uh, like this. <laughs> oh no. Snake, snake, Jesus Beach. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> Up and coming new club. <laughs> so how do you play for? I play for Snake, Snake, Jesus Beach. <laughs> <laughs> I actually have that one. Uh, it's probably very obvious. That one was the one I'm I'm most proud of, I think. It's a, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what is the la the third and the last one? Okay, you guys ready to give up, or do you want to yeah, one more minute? Uh, give it up. Okay, I'll just give out the answers straight away. Yes. Right? And I'll sound them out. Please. So the first one is gum ears back. Yes. Oh, Gummers yeah. back. <laughs> Second one. Love this one. Vipers Christian Sand. Of course. <laughs> I probably get that one, but I didn't. I feel stupid enough when I get that one. I was really dumb. I kept thinking snake. I was like, what snake? <laughs> Why do you have two snakes? Technically a snake, not a viper, it's but viper. anyway, it's, it's, it's viper. It's not, it's not one viper, it's two vipers. <laughs> <laughs> snake, snake, Jesus sand. <laughs> snake, snake, Jesus sand. <laughs> What's this one? The third the one. The third one is Elf E. Ah! <laughs> Elverum. That's a crush for that one. I had E. Rum. 
Ah! Shit! <laughs> oh. You know, reach my team and I didn't get one of them. I was like looking at her and I was like always thinking like Khaleesi, but it's now no, obviously. <laughs> Khaleesi whiskey. <laughs> Uh, uh, fourth one is rain neck ear loving. <laughs> rain necker loving. <laughs> yeah. Rain. <laughs> Say that again, please. Rain, rain neck <laughs> ear loving. Oh my god, that's a bit of a. I think that's the biggest stretch. That one, to be honest. I think that one's. A... <laughs> but uh, Charlotte, you got that one, didn't you? Yeah, I did get one. That one. Yeah. <laughs> Is it, so did, did anyone get the last one? Is this to some Essen? To some Essen? German? Is that just some of the two people at the start? That's to some, <laughs> and then some ice cream and German flag in to some Essen. <laughs> Give me half a point for that one. <laughs> You're getting closer to getting minus points for that one. Right? Uh, <laughs> to some. <laughs> it is. Okay, now the, if you thought the last one was a stretch, it's. <laughs> <laughs> oh god um pear is ice saint german <laughs> so pear ice saint german paris saint german <laughs> oh my god i i got zero points in that round <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh my gosh. god zero there <laughs> it's a it's five points max here right no, so it's it's oh, ten points for this, so two for each yeah. one. Ten points max. So I, I know I said eight at the start. It's ten points max, two for each one. Okay. Six for me, thankfully. Phew. Oh wow. Then I get two points. I'll fill you in there. Here, Marcio, why are you giving yourself a half a point? <laughs> 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 Why has he, he got three? Maybe he's got six points. Oh, so just like, yeah, yeah. Okay. Right. Yeah, so two for each correct answer. So three out of five is pretty good going for most people, and it puts Chris yeah. well and truly in the lead of our internal Zoom. God, I, I'm the only one who got zero in that round. That's really bad. Anyway, mm -hmm. do you want half a point for two semester? <laughs> <laughs> no, <laughs> I don't. <laughs> Not particularly. Uh, all right. So let's just uh, look through the scores here. Uh, we've got, I think Marcio is in the lead overall still. He's up to 13 and a half points. Wow. Find that he got Elverum, Vipers, and PSG right in the last round, showing off. Good man, Marcio. PSG, <laughs> uh, wow. And someone called Barca Kulesh. I think someone's stealing your identity, Alex. <laughs> got uh, two in the last round. Um, who else we got here? Heorth, who played last time as well. He's on 11 points. He's doing very well. Uh, we've got nine points in there. Uh, and then, yeah, I think if you, do, if you got eight or nine points so far, you're looking uh, pretty decent. Still a lot to play for. 17 points still left. Yeah. So I'm, I'm still within a chance. Right. Still within a chance. Good. Okay. Have Good. you guys been baking a lot of bread? <laughs> no, it, seems be, it seems to be everyone and their mother is baking banana bread at the moment. <laughs> Uh, well, we live very close to a really good bakery, so uh, no? No. Good. I'm happy with that answer. It's good. So well, how's the shed coming along, Brian? Shed is uh, almost finished, I'd say, yeah. We're making a lot of progress. Doing a lot of painting, but I'm doing all the kind of dumb work, like, you know, painting, holding stuff, nailing stuff in. And my dad is the, my dad is the architect, you know? He's a project manager. Yeah, I'm just like the standard just laborer you know of course blue collar worker you know just <laughs> have, you picked, have you picked up any new beer. over this time uh charlotta have you started anything new over the uh, last nine weeks uh no I, I actually just take time to do what i normally don't get time to do like reading and drawing a lot drawing so i'm drawing a lot um yeah and reading all the books i have like 
in the shelves that I never get time to read. So mostly that trying to not be like, I think that was the first weeks. It was like spending too much time on the couch watching Netflix and then you get like sick and tired and don't want to watch anything. So yeah, yeah. I, I just stay away from the TV as much as possible, actually. Yeah. And then, you know, we, we finished uh, La Casa de Papel, all five. Oh, yeah. Four seasons in two weeks. Did you it like it? <laughs> it was great. Yeah. But uh, by the end, it was just too much. We were like, we can't. Yeah. This is, <laughs> this is 20 hours of, oh, what, 40 hours of TV. <laughs> That's good. Guy. Oh. You, have you watched, uh, have you watched uh, Normal People in full yet, Alex? Uh, Brian, have you watched it yet? I haven't watched a second of it yet. No, too close to my heart, you know, Sligo and all that, like, you know. So it is, it's based on you, isn't it? Yeah, it is. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's me. That's yeah. me. So where in the chain? The chain's over there in the bedside. I haven't put it on since, you know. <laughs> Those are my player days, you know. Giving up on that. <laughs> we really should uh, we really should be watching it, Brian. The thing is it's based on your hometown and the lead actor is from my hometown. It's an Alex's adopted hometown. Like we really uh, it it's be basically just us, yeah. Oh yeah, basically. Yeah. Definitely wasn't having that much sex when I was 17, that's for sure. <laughs> <laughs> no way, Jose. <laughs> Still not. Anyway, round three. <laughs> 17, 30, you know, it's all, <laughs> all the same. <laughs> oh, God. So, Alex, what, what's round three now? Well, this is the quote round, is it? Yeah, so quotes. Famous sports people quotes. And there you're giving and us some options here, are you? There's going to be some options to make it a little bit easier. Good. How many, how many points are on offer here? So 10 questions, 10 points. Okay. Okay, hey, ready? Lovely, ready. Let's go. Don't quote me on this. Question number one, or quote number one. I can accept failure. Everyone fails at something, but I can't accept not trying. Who said this? Michael Jordan, Serena Williams, or Kobe Bryant? Uh, I don't know why I'm trying to think about this because I don't know. So <laughs> I'm trying to like, hmm, who would have said this? Three options, three very driven people. <laughs> yeah. Okay, question number two. There was no pressure. You should play in my country. Then you will see pressure. They throw bricks at you. Was it Usain Bolt, <laughs> Ivano Balic, or Serhai Rutenka? <laughs> Great quote, actually. Yeah. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> A lot of countries that made throw bricks there. Uh, quote number three. You miss 100% of the shots you don't take. Was it Petr Nanadic, Wayne Gretzky, or Michael Scott? <laughs> Can I ask who's these guy, who are these guys? <laughs> Quote number four. I played all kinds of sports when I was young. Tennis, handball, basketball, some soccer. I focused on blank when I was 16 or 17. At 20, I came to the US. Ooh. Was it Luka Doncic, big fan of the handball hour? Dirk Nowitzki <laughs> or Roger Federer? Uh. Okay, question number five. Unless I was number one, I wouldn't be listened to. Was it Megan Ripno, Christina Niagu, or Billie Jean King? Uh, quote number six I'm just here so I don't get fined <laughs> was it Marshawn Lynch Dennis Rodman or Christian Zeitz <laughs> he doesn't speak so it's not him <laughs> 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 That's his fist to do the talking. Quote number seven. 
It wasn't deliberate handball, but you need a bit of luck. <laughs> was it Robbie Keane, Thierry Henry, or Brian Campion? Oh, that's a great. Who's that last name? That sounds sounds like, sounds like quite a man. And he's in there with good See, company as well. It's, it's quite sportsman. difficult to find handball quotes, so yeah. sometimes uh, you got to get as close as possible. Yeah. Three pillars of sport in there as well. I see that, like, yeah. <laughs> Quote number eight <laughs> just throwing missiles. <laughs> Was it Conor McGregor, Ike Romero, or Jay Cutler? <laughs> Who? Hashtag pure air speed. Quote number nine 380. Uh, matches a year, and I loved it. I couldn't get enough of it. Was it Ric Flair, Babe Ruth, or Uwe Gensheimer? <sighs> Big advocate of hashtag pl don't play the player. <laughs> and the last quote, quote number 10. I'm in trouble because I'm normal and slightly arrogant. A lot of people don't like themselves. And I happen to be totally in love with myself. Was it number one, Michael Hansen? <laughs> Two, Mike Tyson? Three, Kobe Bryant? Or four, Chris O'Reilly? <laughs> <laughs> <All right. laughs> <laughs> that one on the uh, list, then, yeah. <laughs> Just add in, I'm strawberry blonde at the end, and it's Chris. <laughs> 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 Good round. So that's the 10 quotes, and we'll go straight into them from the start. So, first quote I can, I can accept it. failure, everyone fails at something, but I can't accept not trying. Was Michael Jordan? Michael Jordan, yeah. Maybe influenced by the great documentary, Last Dance. I don't know if I you guys have seen I it. I Brian there. I figured that Michael Jordan doesn't accept any failure anyway like based <laughs> on what i've seen that even any kind of failure is not good enough but anyway yeah. um so this great quote by was by ivano balic oh yes, yes. beautiful who said it in the 2012 olympics in london after they lost the semi-final to france it's great beautiful the only actual handball quote i could find so <laughs> <laughs> you miss 100% of the shots you don't take was Wayne Gretzky oh. and it wasn't a trick question because it's you miss 100% of the shots you don't take Wayne Gretzky, Michael Scott so, uh, <laughs> so it was a trick question <laughs> it's, I'm sure that's Nanadich's motto in life anyway uh, so he played all these sports before Dirk. He picked a certain sport. Nowitzki. Nowitzki it was yeah. Dirk Nowitzki. Oh, yes, doing well this round now. One, two, three, four. <laughs> what? <laughs> well, <his> confidence <laughs> is up. Yeah, I'm, I'm four out of four so far. Five. Unless I was number one, I wouldn't be listened to. It has was? to be Billie Jean. Billie Jean King. Yeah. Ah, yeah. Trick question. <laughs> What's the trick in that? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just here so I don't get fined was Marshawn Lynch yo oh Brian's gone quiet no I just I completely guessed that one I got it right so I feel bad for Shetton <laughs> <laughs> I don't feel like oh yes fantastic quote by Marshawn Lynch it wasn't deliberate handball but you need a bit of luck this was a trick question you're thinking everyone's going to sit here on Reed but it was probably Robbie Keane, was it? It was Robbie Keane who said this. And yeah. I'm sure Brian Campion has said this in a pub sometime around 2012. Well, it sounds like, you know, after an actual handball match, that Brian wasn't deliberately trying to play handball, but it worked out in a way. <laughs> I never tried to play handball deliberately. <laughs> Deliberate handball, but... It, I was always, it was always by accident. <laughs> to give context about this quote, if anyone doesn't know, this is one famously uh, Thierry Henry handballed 
uh, the ball in the box to score a goal between in a match between France and Ireland that knocked Ireland out of the World Championship qualifiers. It was very unfair, but Irish captain at the time, Robbie Keane, was not as angry as you think. Just throwing missiles. Hashtag pure iron speed. The man, the myth, the legend, Jay Cutler. <laughs> Your good friend. Yeah, yeah, our best mate. <laughs> yeah. Handball's biggest star who never played. <laughs> um, 380 matches a year. Who loved it? It was Ric Flair. Yeah, it had to be. A wrestler wrestling every day. And not Uwe Gensheimer. <laughs> That'd be insane. <laughs> I'm in trouble because I'm normal and slightly arrogant. A lot of people don't like themselves, and I happen to be totally in love with myself. It does sound like Michael Hansen, but it was Mike, Ty Mike Tyson said this. Back when he was actually normal, apparently. Yeah. There you go. Right. So I got eight out of ten. Nine. Nine. Oof. After a poor start. Charlotte, what did you get? Six. Six? Yeah. All right, we'll fill you in here. So, oh. Charlotte, six. Brian Campion, eight <laughs> out of ten. Chris O'Reilly, nine. Some of the other scores coming in here. Viru with seven. Donald Doherty with eight. Uh, command Harry that. with eight as well. Who else? Marcio's the big one here. Marcio with four. Oh, he's falling behind now. He'll be, he'll be hurting after that one. Who else do we have here? Sebastian with six. Justin with six. Viru's got seven. Oh, you said that already, huh? Yep. Marcio struggling a bit, huh? He or five. Uh, JD with a good eight there as well. Was him. But storming ahead in the lead, Chris O'Reilly with 21 points. Nice. Wow. So you'd be, you be giving yourself your own prize, Chris. That's incredible. Not <laughs> <laughs> all. But it, it's a bottle of wine, isn't it, this time? I thought, it was, I thought it was dinner with you, so you'd just be going to dinner on your own. Like. <laughs> a lot of that over this. Uh... <laughs> yeah, a lot of dinner for one. Okay. So is it really me in the lead? Jesus. I think so. 21 points. The closest to you is Justin Pino on 18 points with a bunch of people on 17 and Marcio on 17.5 after that stinker of a round. Tough. Still in the game, though. Still in the game. But all to play for in this last round of the quiz. The six million dollar handball player. I'm worried about this one. I don't know why. <laughs> this is a, a picture round. Okay. And if any of you know the six million dollar man, a very famous uh, series, US TV series in the 80s, I think, where they rebuilt a broken man to be a superhuman cyber, kind of like Robocop, but not as cool. Mm -hmm. So I've done this because Chris O'Reilly's had a lot of injuries in his time. <laughs> He's had a tough career. So I thought I'd rebuild Chris O'Reilly into the best handball player to ever live. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god, that's brilliant. <laughs> Look at my Stop ass! <laughs> yes! Okay. The seven okay. points on offer? There's seven points on offer, and for some reason, six is missing here, so just ignore the number six. <laughs> okay. Uh, so it's uh. one point per body part that is available in this picture, excluding Chris O'Reilly's face. So what players make up the greatest player to ever oh, yeah. build for? I just realized that's a, just an ass cheek there in water. I missed that completely. <laughs> uh, four. Oh. Okay. 
obviously it can be men and women, obviously. Uh, it's tough, man. Hmm. <laughs> I've never looked so good. Yeah, your hair is incredible. <laughs> A hairband and a mic on. My God, you're really set up to commentate your own game. <laughs> so good I am. Hmm. Does anyone recognize these famous bum cheeks right in the middle? Yeah. Because I know the picture they come from, not because of anything else. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> sure. <laughs> I wish. Hmm. I'm, stuck on, I'm stuck on two. I'm stuck on three and eight. Mm -hmm. Eight is very difficult. It's just like, <laughs> oh, wait. I think I know. I think. Hmm. Oh, man, stuff. I think we should see what we guess for these ones. <laughs> <laughs> I'd, I'd love to hear this. <laughs> you have to give at least a player for each body part, and you can uh, yeah. give us a description of your. Uh, greatest ever handball player. Okay, shall we? Shall we do it now? Yeah. Okay, you want to start, Brian? Who's your? Okay. Uh... So the number one and the head and the hair is Hansen. It Two, is. Uwe Gensheimer. It is the famous wrist. Three. Mm. I'll come back to three in a second. Four. Uh, again, Agalde. No. No, he's Macedonian. Oh, yeah. The Stoilov. Stoilov. Ah, I done my second. Oh, damn it. Okay. <laughs> uh, five, Nora Mork. It is. Uh, uh, six isn't there. Seven has to be Karabatic. The only person who get naked into water like that and have a photo taken out of himself. <laughs> Which one, though? Nicola. Oh, that's a tricky one. Because the, the picture is both of them. Oh, that's really difficult then. Uh, I'm, I'm trying to think who was on the left and who was on the right. I think. Uh, I'm going to go. I'll go curveball. I'll go. I'll go Luca. Is Nicola, it, isn't it? No, I changed my mind. Nicola. Okay, get your final answers in. Yeah. And the big reveal. Yeah, you're gonna show <laughs> ah. ah damn it. Oh my god, is that your screensaver? <laughs> Unfortunately, Nicola Carabatic just showed his pubes. I, I, it, it, would, he showed his... It, it, it would have been so funny if you just went to your desktop now and that was your desktop background. <laughs> <laughs> um okay, so what what number are we on then? Uh, I think you got eight, eight? Yes. Sterbic? Gotta be Sturbeck. It is Sturbeck. Yes. yes. And then so we're missing number three then. Alison Pino. Very, very good. Alison Pino. Wow. Well done. So, so I got to repeat, we got number one, Michael Hansen, 
Yeah. Number two, Uwe Gensheimer. Number three, Alison Pino. Number four, Stoilov. Number five, Nora Merck. Number six, doesn't exist. Number seven, Luka Karabatic. And number eight. Uh, uh, yeah, half a point for Karabatic. Go on. Half a point for Karabatic okay. stands. Cool. His brother's butt. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you have to get half a point for your brother's butt. <laughs> okay. And then Arpad Sterbik, number eight, huh? Arpad Sterbik, number eight. There you go. Okay. Nice work getting Alison Pino. Yeah, I just I knew it was French, and I was thinking. Well, first, first I thought it was uh, Melvin Richardson, and then I changed it to Enzaminko. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. um, how did you get on there, Charlotte? Uh, one, two, three, four, five and a half. Five and a half. Well done. I got four and a half there, and Brian. I got one, two, three, four, five and a half as well. Five and five. I, mean, I, I said I, I got this one. No. Yeah, that I, I changed my mind there. That, that crushed me a bit. Like, so we have to, we have to tally up then with the final scores, and everyone else has to tally up the final scores too. So let's have a look through here. So, what are you got? Six, eight, fourteen, nineteen point five. Not bad. Good score out of out of twenty seven or what was it thirty seven points? Thirty five. Or, no, 37 in the end. 37 in the end. Uh, Brian, have you added your total yet? Adding them up now, yeah. Who else have we got here? Sebastian, he's got 17 points. Harry with 21. Justin with 23. That's a good score there. Uh, Frederick with 16. Uh, Jonathan struggling there, 12 points. Don Lodarty with a late charge, 22 points. JD Orr, 20.5. That's a good score. And as he said, 17 more points than last time. <laughs> um, he or 20 points. Uh, Viru, 21.5. Marcio, 22.5. Uh, Pino and Sturvik let him down there. Thomas Martinonis, I think, is still sorting out his score. He's he had 17.5 coming into this round. But Alex, tell us who the winner is. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he's got, he got out his got he's, out. he's got out of focus. He's he's sweating so much. But the winner of the second handball hour pub, Chris. Pub quiz is Chris <laughs> O'Reilly. We can call it the pub Chris now. <laughs> good job, good job, good job. Thank you. So, so Shalada, was it as uh, painful as expected or was it okay? It was okay. I was yeah. a little bit more nervous actually. I thought it would be like more or less last week and then I was like, oh my gosh. No, last week was the demon pub quiz. Yeah. It, was like, it was a little bit too hard. But... Any of you want to be quiz masters, and that's for yeah. sure. Yeah, I, I won't be doing it again. I'm not, I'm not allowed. Nah. But, uh, <laughs> no, <laughs> but Alex, you get the level on spot on this time. That was good. A lot, a lot closer of a of a run to, for the title there as well. Mm. Good stuff. Yeah, it's good. A lot of people playing as well. Thank you for everyone who took part. Uh, some really good scores there, uh, and yeah, pretty close. I thought Marcio was going to take it all the way. He struggled in the second half of that quiz, but uh, that was good. Are you satisfied with that? Uh, what did you say you you would get? Or you thought you would get out of out of thirty seven beforehand, Alex? I said roughly twenty, like twenty to twenty five. So yeah. seems to be just about the range, except yeah. for poor Jonathan Mate. Sorry to pile on, but twelve <laughs> points. <laughs> <laughs> Don't bully the guy. <laughs> uh, yeah. Thanks for joining. <laughs> Hope you had fun. Some the homework to do there, but um, no, it was good. Uh, thank you so much for joining as well, Charlotte. It was nice to actually talk to you in person for the uh, first time in a long time. Maybe next time you come over, all of you come to Barcelona, and then we can see actually in person, person. Yes, absolutely, yeah. yeah absolutely. Absolutely. That's that's in the books. We did plan a Barcelona trip for this year. That probably yeah, won't happen. That probably but. won't happen. <laughs> Maybe. Well, uh, how about December and the Women's European Championship? 
have to come yeah. to Norway. Yeah. It's gonna be in, oh, where, is, where is home for you? Is it near uh, Oslo? Uh, two hours south of Oslo. Okay, yeah. so near nothing? Alarvik, uh, <laughs> yeah. Alarvik, okay. Alarvik, yeah. Yeah, so we'll, we'll be in Norway. Well, hopefully if everything is um, sorted out by December, if there's gonna be a European hopefully. championship, we'll be there. I really hope I can get home for Christmas as well. Yeah, well. Yeah, oh my gosh, we're probably not going to see in a whole year now. Yeah. Social social distancing Christmas. I don't like the sound of that. Like, no, I don't like the sound of that either. No. Uh, we're let's in hope opposition. We'll definitely have a quiz. Yeah, we, the Christmas <laughs> quiz. <laughs> we're all super depressed and sitting here. <laughs> quiz number 63 of 14. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> If you get that far, I hope I get invited that one again once again. Oh, absolutely, yeah. Absolutely. Well, you'll probably be hosting it at that point. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that was a pleasure to have you on, and uh, a great job, Alex. Is it, so it's my turn next time. Your turn. So. I can't be winning two weeks in a row, so. To, that's uh, <laughs> yeah, that's that's the reason. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And uh, yeah, I hope uh, I look for. Well, I hope I'll enjoy my. Uh, Prize, my dinner with me. Yeah, <laughs> I think I'll have it tomorrow. Hope you get a nice bottle of wine at least. Well, yeah, until then. <laughs> but thank you, everyone. Uh, thank you, everyone, for watching. Okay. And cheers. Cheers. Bye. Bye bye.